E yo, let's get down below. If you can subscribe and welcome to the content. Now, I find it wild how some of you guys are never really consistent with the type of energy that you'll be putting out to people online. And it's so weird because when someone is actually trying to be positive, someone is actually trying to bring change and be someone who's going to bring joy, good interest into communities, especially online, you'll choose to attack these people. You'll choose to bully these people and make them feel insignificant, which is crazy. I'm talking about that librarian who's been trying to improve, trying to motivate, trying to influence as many youths to read books. You're a dumb, illiterate ass, bro. He's been trying to make sure that you guys can at least read one book a yeah you want to attack him you want to make him feel like he has to worry about his mental health and how he is as a person and question that what he's doing is right are you insane are you genuinely insane how do you push someone to the point where they feel like what good they're doing is not good sometimes i feel like this is why some people will be selfish about their interests selfish about the things they have joy in selfish about the positive things that they really enjoy because people like you out here are ready to say dumb things when you don't even know anything about like do you know the importance of reading you wouldn't you haven't picked up a book since the freaking day you were born how are you even able to freaking improve as a human being if you're not able to improve your mind? If you're not able to take in good advice and use that towards yourself and even influence and find positive joy in it? You'll be the first one to support these whack ass rappers and these only fan girls and all these degenerate content creators and influencers. It makes no sense, bro. Like, keep the same energy, bro. Like, if you see someone doing wrong, say that shit. But if you see someone doing good, share that influence to everybody. No, you want to take him down. You want to make him feel like he's inconsiderate. You, you want to make him feel like he's just a, a, an asshole. Like, I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand how y'all feel reading a book is a horrible idea. How y'all feel reading a book makes a person evil, makes them seem deceitful or a hypocrite. Like, bro, even if it was for the wrong reasons, at least it's getting you to pick up a freaking book. Read, homie. Read. Y'all guys are just so stuck on the internet that y'all don't have any other sources of literacy. It's so sad. Because you'll just base your opinions, your mindset, your whole mentality of something you see on social media. Like, y'all don't build anything outside of it. And this guy is like trying to tell you, hey, yo, go to a library, open a book, read. There's much more interest, much more joy, much more positivity in that. You guys come here, scroll on the internet and be depressed. To read a book for like 15 minutes, you don't want to do that, bro. You'll be scrolling here for hours. It's so wild, bro. A person is trying to tell you, hey, at least pick up a book, read. It could be something that changes your life nah you just want to shit on that person you want to make him feel like he should even stop doing his profession because that's what i heard he quit at the library he was working at Do you know what i also heard he's actually now partnering with pbs kids to help restore and influence more kids to read even if you guys did make him feel like he needs to quit his job he got a better one this just shows that some of you guys are whack you'll be pushing people out of their profession something they love he was doing something he loved but now he's found something better i hope you'll realize how weird you are. other than that God bless. Have a nice life. And read a freaking book. I'll see you when I see you.